Welcome back to the Farmer Johnson YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're putting a new feeder house chain on this 9250, shuffling around equipment, and running the track out. Putting on some fresh 60 heavy chains. This 9250 number two. Two house chain has jumped the length, so that's no good. That needs addressed. That chain goes right there. And then we got one more to do after this. Let's This chain's master link is like right there. So. This feeder house chain been messing with it for several minutes now. Um, it was definitely jumped the link. I think I think it was jumped a couple links, but I got to move back one, and it's still crooked. Is I'll get out, so I can't get it to go another one. I think it's probably just stretched at this point in time. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the whole thing out. We got the steel that goes around the edge pulled off, and uh, we're taking a master down right now. So the junk chain is taken out of here. Um, we've really inspected everything. Let me get the light on. On the inside of here. A sprocket? It shows a little bit of wear, but it's really not that bad. There's no reason for that to be uh, slipping. No. No. Shove them in the hole, Bruce. No. Shove them in the hole. No. 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 Anyway, sprocket looks pretty daggone good. Um, the only thing we can possibly come up with on um, why it uh, jumped a tooth and stretched the chain is, uh, well, let me walk over here to the chain. So back when Bruce was running this combine, this is the chain that was in it. Several of these bolts from the factory come loose and these bars were like falling off and uh, they were beating on stuff in there. So the only thing I can come up with is that is the reason it jumped the tooth on the chain and now stretched the chain. New chain is on. That only took 29 and a half minutes. Looks good. I hate to be that guy, but I am really glad that I'm gonna be running the track hoe today. Because it's a wash day for the manure spreader. What? 
up, dude? Hanging out, you know? Just hanging out. It won't run. What do you mean it won't run? It won't, it won't run without hydraulic pressure. I went to start it up and like, even when you don't have this on in the cab, it still sends pressure to that. It still sends pressure through it. Okay. So did it build hydraulic pressure? So you just need to add oil? I just, I just need to put this. Alright, it's a little windy, but here is the uh, the skid loader rig. I had someone asking me about the grapple. Um, Colby blew a hydraulic hose on it. That's what he's fixing right now. But this grapple is a Jenkins. There's your phone number. It's a pretty bad rig. It's got it's got like teeth, like bucket teeth on it, which is pretty slick. And then uh, I dropped my coffee. And then the uh, the top grapple part goes like all the way across, which is pretty pretty sweet. It's a it's a pretty bad rig. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. Made right here in the USA. That's always good. But that is that is the grapple there. I really like these uh, changeable teeth. Drive a pin out and change them if you need to. It's a pretty slick rig. And this is for everyone that was so concerned in my last video with us uh, uh, burning trees in the uh, cornfield. Since you guys were so right, I should have listened to you. As you can see, we burnt this entire cornfield to the ground. It's gone. It's rough. I should have listened to you guys because I know you guys can watch a 20-minute video and know exactly what's going on. So I didn't really think about that when I posted it. So we went ahead and got the fire started on this side of the pile. I had it going on the other side, but I, I wanted to start it on this side because the wind is coming this way into it. So um, I want the wind to kind of blow it through the pile, get it going pretty good. Don't worry about it. We're not going to catch the field on fire. We're trained professionals, we know what we're doing. I got a whole 13 minutes of training on this, so. I totally forgot, you guys have no idea what's going on through here. Cause I started doing this the day, let's see the day, the day after my last video. So after I was hoping that the field wouldn't burn to the ground, this was the day after that, so. Um, where we were working was right along there. Right over there is where I got into the big stuff and we had the fire going over there. Well, this is a new fire and a new project on the same field, same farm. All right. We got this field right here and we got this field right here. And it's divided by this nasty, nasty little fence row. When I say little, there is some big stuff in it, but um, not very much. Most of it is just this nasty, falling down, dead, ugly looking, terrible stuff that there's no reason for it being here. So we're clearing this out. Um, most stuff on that side I can't reach yet. I'll have to go to the other side of our little stream here to uh, get that stuff out. But right now I'm going along this side. Road's right down there. You can, might be able to see beans down there and the skid loader working. But we are taking this one out. Um, I'm super excited to get this one out because it'll open this whole farm up and make it not seem like such a small farm anymore. Um, that I, I'm so excited about getting this out. We're really not gaining much ground to farm by getting it out. But one thing we will be able to do is we'll be able to get the water from the field into the ditch easier. We'll be able to take a bush hog and mow down along that ditch and make it look really nice. So super excited about that. 
it'll look good. It'll look really good. There is a couple bigger trees in here, as you can see. Like, look, look at this root ball. It's up there. A couple bigger ones. There's a big one. There's beans in the old skid loader with the grappler. I mean, this tree's not huge, but I mean, it's, it looks like a pretty decent sized tree. Like it's a pretty decent sized tree. And, um, wow, it looks way bigger from this side. Look at that. This thing looks huge from this side. This tree's huge. But it's very dead, um, as you can tell. I gotta push on it here, and I really don't wanna be wearing this in the I don't know if you guys could hear that but that tree just popped maybe I shouldn't be walking around it after I done dug on this side but I really don't want to be wearing it in the cab I never really know how these things are going to go so I'll set you guys down here and I'll uh, push on it here real fast and uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows what will happen. I think I I think this has got to be this has got to be an old antique like Indian relic. I don't know. I'm just digging along through the this fence right here, and uh, I seen I hit the bucket on this. But wow, look at that! Not sure what it is, but must have been some type of like a bowl or something that the Indians used. I can't hardly make out that writing on there. Well, I don't know what that says. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Some Indian was probably just walking through here and dropped it. Now I found it. I didn't know they had metal, but there it is. It definitely didn't fall out of the open door in the track, though. So I'm taking down this tree and I'm just beating a tore out of it like a rag doll. It was this tree right here and it's just whoosh, flinging all over the place. This dude right here flies off of it. Is it too cold for, I don't know if that's a hornet or what in the world that is, but um, I don't want no part in that. That looks like no fun at all. Hopefully it's too cold for them things and they're like dead or asleep for a very long time ah oh, man i had a hold of that tree and i was just all over the place and i saw that thing go flying through the air and i was like i don't know what i would have done if uh something would have come out of there or a whole bunch of somethings would have come out of there there ain't no way i was getting the track hoe closed up in time yeesh Maybe I'll pick it up and go drop it on Colby in the skid loader. I know I just hooked this up like the other day, but um, it did not get washed and we need to unhook it because we need the tractor. Got to have the tractor. Big old 380 CVT is going on a stump wagon.
looks like you need to go up like a mile. Dad said he was. So did I, but okay. He's driving out there, okay. Okay. Alright, so it is another day out here running the track hoe. Um, let me see if I can pop this ditch and, ditch and show you where we're at here. Yep. So I made it pretty far down that way. Um, you can't really see it here because it turns and goes back. But I made it down there last night and I decided today, since today is Friday, I was going to come right back up by the road and start on the other side of the ditch and uh, start working my way down. Kind of have a, a nice, nice stopping point for the weekend. Have all this looking a whole lot better. I don't know if we'll get the trees piled up on this side and burn them today. Um, Colby's running the skid loader uh, back over that way. Um, he's trying to clean up a little bit more where I uh busted all the tree limbs down but uh this is what we had got last night it's really windy but um got everything cleaned up on this side of the ditch where we were working piled up burnt good fire going and then colby come through with the, the skid loader and back drug it so uh we got a nice little windrow all the way through here um our fires burn up a lot i wish I wish I could just like pick this whole fire up and move it to the other side of the ditch um, because it's kind of hard to get a really nice hot fire going that really eats down on the big trees. We got a couple big trees that are still smoldering away, burning in here, but I went ahead and pulled a bunch of these stumps out. Uh, just because, I mean, this is burnt up good enough that we can load that and haul it off and it can rot down. Uh, this one has been smoldering since like 5 o'clock last night and it is almost noon today. So, this one just slowly keeps burning little by little. But all these ones I pulled out, they're pretty much burnt up good enough that I'm happy with them. All these in, in the fire still, I would like them to burn up a little bit more. So... Every now and then I gotta push this up and move it around and keep it burning. But it's going good. Update on the thumb. Um, I don't think it looks any better, but it definitely, I don't think it looks any worse. I think it's just hanging out. Let's see. You know how funny it would have been if I would have just kicked it right now and just broke? Oh well, we'll keep going. tree down big tree down I mean it's not a huge tree 
I've dropped bigger, but I mean, and this and this fence row, this is about the the biggest they come. Well, from about that big ditch, you or bleh, sorry. Well, from about that big tree, you guys see me drop all the way up to the road. We got all them trees picked up. We got them piled, and we got them burning now. Uh, it's burning pretty decent. Um, I would have liked to get it burning a little bit better, but I need to get ready and head out of here. Um, we're going out for my sister's birthday tonight. And sorry, Alex, but it looks like I'm going to be late because I'm supposed to be leaving the house about five minutes ago. And I'm still at the fire. So I think that's all we got for this video. Hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,